Nicki Minaj, an amazing artist, once said these very, very important words. And I quote, they keep hating, but still watching. My family, UK media, are observing the amazing presidential style security, protecting Harry Meghan. And my family, I know the video clip that is angering the toxic UK tabloid press. My family, it is this video. This video of Prince Harry and Meghan being escorted, my family, by a motorcade, my family. And also, clearly they're having amazing security protecting them, my family. You know, armored vehicles, my family, military surrounding Harry and Meghan. That's angering UK media. And this video of Harry and Meghan arriving at the defense headquarters in Nigeria, escorted by presidential state security, my family is angering UK media. Because you know Daily Mail has dispatched its carnival of so-called experts to go and stalk Harry and Meghan in Nigeria. And they are so bitter that Nigeria has afforded Harry Megan amazing security. That they're protecting Harry Megan very, very well. My family, look at that. Look at that armored vehicle, you know, all around you. Not just your security, but also you are surrounded by the military. <laughs> that has angered the UK media so much to the point that my family, Daily Mail, want to speak to a so-called ex-royal protection officer called Dai Davis, my family, who apparently is a former royal protection officer. And my family, apparently, he was being asked questions about Harry and Megan security in Nigeria. And clearly, UK media are not happy. But then, why are you angry that Prince Harry and Meghan are receiving security? Why? Why? First of all, you, UK media, and the public in Britain aren't paying for the security. Then, then why are you angry? Why are you upset? Why are you pissed off? I'll tell you why they're pissed off. They're pissed off because they never wanted Harry Meghan to be protected. Because they've always wanted to scare Harry Meghan into begging for protection from Charles and from Prince William. They wanted to scare Harry into returning to the North Fold. But my phone targeting what he feared losing. He feared losing his security. And Harry has been very, very vocal about that. Harry even in spare told us that during the Sandingham Summit, he told senior members of the royal family that he and Meghan wanted to be safe, wanted to be alive, and therefore they wanted to keep the security. That's what Harry said. And Harry shared to the Queen William and Charles, what he feared the most. He feared losing his security, my family. And that's what William and Charles targeted. They ensured that Harry was stripped of his security. And we learn from the Byline Times exclusive that senior members of the royal family, meaning Charles and William, wanted the one year period where Harry and Meghan were to decide after one year if they wanted to return to the raw fold. Charles and William wanted that period for Harry and Meghan to fail. You know, they never ever imagined that Harry and Meghan, that one year period out of the farm, 
out of the raw fold that they would succeed. That Harry Megan would sign a deal with Netflix. That Harry Megan would sign a deal with Spotify. They never ever imagined that. Never. And guess what? Harry and Meghan were able to secure a deal with Netflix and Spotify and they were able to pay for their own security. And that's why UK Media was so pissed off when they found out that Harry and Meghan had signed a deal with Netflix family because they wanted that one year view period to fail and for Prince Harry to come back to the raw fold, to come back inside the gilded cage whereby he can be controlled that's what they wanted my family and clearly more than four years later UK media are still angry still angry that Harry and Meghan are getting good security my family are receiving adequate protection my family wherever they go Nigeria in my family to sort of they gave Harry and Meghan security in the UK only the farm that have power over my family, you know, in the government, you know, in security agencies. They have refused for Harry and Meghan to get security when they're in the UK. You know, that my family is very clear. But in other countries where Harry and Meghan go to, Harry and Meghan feel safe. They are safe. They are protected. And UK media does not like seeing that at all. You know? They don't like seeing it at all. Because they want Harry Megan so scared, to be so scared, to the point that my family, they're begging their abusers for security. To the point that my family, you know, they're begging their abusers, William and Charles, please give us security. That's what they want to see. Harry and Megan begging. And Harry Megan will not beg. And also, my family, one thing about the Wikimedia, when they're pissed off, when they're angry, you all know what happens. UK media get racist. My family, of course, they are racist, but they showcase their racism even more when they're angry and pissed off. The people of color are treating Harry and Meghan well. The Meghan even is being Treated well. They can't stand seeing that, my family. My family hear what Dai Davis, who Daily Mail spoke to, or my family, he said he was mourning about Harry and Meghan security. My family, can you please hear this? Now, Daily Mail wrote this uh, headline, saying this, and I quote, It's the Harry and Meghan show. Ex-Royal Protection Officer. Questions. Presidential security arrangements for Harry and Meghan as Nigeria rolls out the red carpet for Harry and Meghan with Harry visiting and races and Meghan causing out to fans for selfies. My family, why would you question why are Harry and Meghan receiving security? Why, why, why? Do you want to harm them? Because that's the only reason why you'd question Harry and Meghan, why are they getting presidential security? Do you want to harm them? UK media have conducted and waged a hate campaign against Harry and Meghan. And they are the ones who are like, why are Harry and Meghan receiving security? You know what you've done to Harry and Meghan. You know of your hate campaign. But you still question, why do Harry and Meghan receive security? I am sure that Harry and Meghan would love to walk outside without security. I am sure that they would love to take their kids out, my family, wherever they want to go, without security accompanying them. I am sure that that's what Harry and Meghan would want. But they can't do that. You know why? Because of the hate campaign waged against them by the UK media. That's why. That's why. So when I see UK media being like, why are Harry and Meghan receiving presidential security? My family, I'm reminded, these people have always wanted to scare Harry and Meghan into coming back. Meghan, in her own words, in the Harry and Meghan documentary, she said in a quote, you are making people want to kill me. 
You. Megan said, you are making people want to kill me. She knows there is nothing that this carnival of so-called experts would do to her. They won't physically hurt Megan. However, that person who reads these hateful headlines, who believes every lie they are told by Daily Mail, that person is dangerous. That person is the one who is dangerous. And that's why Megan said, you are making people want to kill me. You know? You are making me scared. And to wake up in the middle of the night to check, are the doors locked? Are the kids safe? That's real. And you've done it for what? Because it sells papers? Those are Megan's words. Those are Megan's words. Fearing for her life. And then you're having Daily Mail Wondering, why are Harry Meghan receiving presidential state security? Daily Mail, you and all those proxies who believe the lies you, to you tell about Harry Meghan. You will not get close to Harry Meghan. You will not even get 10 feet close to Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan are surrounded by amazing, effective security. And they are safe and protected my family you know my family can you hear this bitterness you know the thing is i love this bitterness it makes me kind of you know happy to see how the abusers are bitter because they did not treat her megan well but others other countries other people will treat her megan with the dignity and respect that they, des that they deserve family, that they deserve that they deserve. And the royals who Wikimedia chose to stick by the side like William and Kim Milton, look at them. William and Kim Milton, whenever they go on any tour of the Commonwealth, backlash follows. Backlash follows. People demand reparations. People, my family, tell William and Kim Milton they aren't welcome on their land. But Harry and Meghan, look at them. Even Daily Mail has to admit itself. Nigeria has rolled on the red carpet for Harry and Meghan. And they're having a fantastic time. Even Daily Mail admits it. Joaquin Wilson is missing. No one knows where she is. My family. William, UK Media, don't even pay attention to him. They don't, my family. They're more focused on Harry and Meghan. Who you came in there said that my family are irrelevant, are unpopular. But they're focused on Harry and Meghan. Remember, Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with, it, with the Daily Mail. With Daily Mail or the carnival of so-called experts. But clearly, Daily Mail wants everything to do with Harry and Meghan. They can't accept Harry and Meghan's rejection of them. My family. It's, you know, the thing is, it's embarrassing. To go to a place of but you are unwanted. It's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, really. It's so embarrassing. You know? It's so embarrassing, really. It's very, very embarrassing. Look at Megan. After all the disrespect she was, shown by, she was shown by Charles, my family, has she set foot in the UK? No, she has not. My family. Megan goes to a place where by she is welcomed. Megan goes to a place where by she is loved my family that's what megan is doing my family she's going to a place whereby she's loved whereby my family she's respected whereby she is adored that is my family what megan is my family doing you know and my family no one of megan has gone to you know nigeria to a place whereby she is loved to a place whereby she is respected my family whereby she is respected and even in the sister's book the megan my family you know signed here is what uh megan wrote with gratitude for the support of the in victor's community and for welcoming me home 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 UK media spend their time saying, Megan, you aren't welcome here. 
they do it so, so oftenly. When Megan listens and prefers to go to Nigeria over the UK, you can media complain. My family, you know? Because my family, Megan, was signing the visitor's book, my family, you know, yesterday, when she was at the chief of defense staff, my family office, you know? And my family, she wrote what I just told you, she, she my family wrote, thank you for coming me home. She goes to a place where she's welcomed. But Wikipedia always want to take themselves to places whereby they aren't welcome. Because clearly, they aren't welcome to be around Harry and Meghan. But they take themselves there. And when they see other countries, other people treating Harry and Meghan well, they complain. When they see Nigeria giving Harry and Meghan security, that Wikipedia UK, sorry, refuses to give her a Megan. The firm refuses to give her a Megan. They complain. Stop complaining because you're paying nothing to fund her Megan security. You're paying nothing. Be happy that you pay nothing to fund her Megan security. Be happy. Stop complaining, my family. But clearly, we are seeing UK media mourning and my family complaining. My family, I mean, just kindly please hear this. Hear this attack on Nigeria by the UK media because of how bitter they are. How bitter they are that Harry and Meghan have been showered with praise, have been welcomed by Nigerians, my family, because Harry and Meghan have been shown respect. Hear how bitter UK media are, my family. And I quote, that critics... No, not Christian family, UK media, have claimed the trip and they're calling Nigeria the ninth most dangerous country in Africa. You know? That's what UK media and my family are doing. And my family, that just ain't right. That just isn't right. That just is not my family right. UK is also dangerous, my family. It's also very, very dangerous, my family. There is so much knife violence in the UK. But of course, UK media don't want to talk about that, my family. They don't, they don't, they don't. They prefer to be racist to an African country all because they have treated Harry and Meghan well. Or because they welcome Meghan with open arms and treat her well. When all they do in the UK is disrespect both Harry and Meghan. They can't stand seeing anyone else show respect or love to Harry and Meghan. Well, my family, they can mourn, they can win, they can complain. But the fact is, Harry and Meghan will go to places and will want to be around people who love them, who treat them well. And they will want to spend the most time with people who showed them love? Who showered them with affection? My family. And I applaud Harry, my family, and Megan for that. My family is here to the bitterness. And they are admitting they are bitter about Harry and Megan receiving my family presidential style security. Can you please hear this, my family? Former royal presidential officer, Dai Davis has said, and I quote, Seeing, <laughs> seeing all his presidential style security <laughs> really does stick in the throat. <laughs> bitterness, 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 bitterness and jealousy and envy is a disease. The disease, it's a disease. Bitterness, jealousy, Envy, it is a disease. My family, Prince Harry has fought to get security for himself, for Meghan, for Archie, and for Lil Petana. Because he needs it. Because he needs it. He has no choice. He needs it. Whether he likes it or not, my family. Because Prince Harry and Meghan, UK media have waged a hate campaign, anti-smear campaign 
against them that has lasted close to eight years now. Close to eight years now. My family. Empress Harry Meghan know that that smear campaign has had an effect on people. My family. There are those one or two people who believe all the lies that have been spread about Harry Meghan by the UK media. There are those one and two people. And my family, because that Harry Meghan needs security, whether they like it or not. Don't forget what happened to Harry Meghan in New York. While they were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. And even my family, the New York Police Department, NYPD, even say themselves that my family, when Harry Meghan, when they're coming to New York, they'll have to receive security. They'll have to. They'll have to. My family. Because of what happened, you know, when Harry Meghan was in New York, my family, a while back. That's why when Harry Meghan went to, you know, New York, I believe on World Mental Health Day, if I am not mistaken. Harry Meghan received adequate security when they were there. To avoid a repeat of what happened to them when they were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. You know? To avoid a repeat of that. So my family, Harry and Meghan, they need security. You know? And don't forget, UK media were responsible for Harry and Meghan being pursued by paparazzi. Don't forget, my family, the Daily Mail and Daily Express, two UK tablets. And never forget this. Were well, the first ones to post pictures of Harry and Meghan in a taxi. When Harry and Meghan were trying to evade paparazzi. Their family. So Harry and Meghan need security. They have no choice. They have no option. They need security. You know? But apparently someone in the UK called Dai Davis, UK media, are pissed off. Because Harry and Meghan are receiving security. Listen. You've been vocal. That you don't want Harry Meghan to get security, right? Even if Harry has offered to pay for security himself. Then stop complaining that other countries are showing respect to Harry Meghan. Are acknowledging what Harry Meghan has been through. Are acknowledging the threats that Harry Meghan face. Daily Mail, and I revealed yesterday, Daily Mail, before even Meghan arrived in Nigeria, my family, they had contacted multiple airlines to inquire about how Megan could get from the U.S. to Nigeria. How, how in the world is that even normal? They know what they've done with the hit campaign against Megan, but then they revealed to the entire world these are the flights that Megan could take from the U.S. to Nigeria. How is that okay? How is that even normal? How, how? For someone like Megan, who needs security at all times. Daily Mail, by doing what they did, by revealing the first option that Megan could take to Nigeria, it endangered Megan's life. And they knew what they, they were doing, and they did what they did on purpose. And then, they have the nerve to ask, why are Harry Megan receiving security in Nigeria? They have the nerve to ask that question. They have the nerve to ask that question. When Daily Mail will go prying to different airlines, you know, could Megan use this airline to get to the from the US to Nigeria? My family, it's madness. It's madness. It's madness. And the actions of Daily Mail, it tells you exactly just why Megan will always need security. Where Megan has no option. She needs security. My family. Because of the actions of the Daily Mail. Because the actions of the UK media. And the carnival of so-called experts. Who can't accept rejection. Who can't accept that Harry fled the UK with Meghan. When they thought the abuse would only make Meghan leave. They were wrong. Harry left with Megan, and the UK media have never been able to get over that. Never. You know? 
My family, Ray Davis, in his bitterness, says this, my family, and I quote, that for a couple who say all they want is privacy, to visit one of the most dangerous places in the world, and that is me saying that, the foreign office as well is crazy, and you have to wonder why. First of all, number one, Ray Davis. Number one, Ray Davis. Whatever your name is. Ray Davis, whatever. Clearly, you are speaking the language of the Wikimedia. Harry Meghan have never ever said that they wanted privacy. And Nigeria is a safe place to live. It's a safe place to live. My family, you know, they act as if in the UK there are no crimes committed. That's, that's how Wikimedia act. The UK is the safest place to live, my family. It is not. It is not. My family. It is not. And this attack on Nigeria is racist by the UK media. And my family, the thing is, I expect it from the UK media because we all know how racist the UK media are. Extremely racist. And one thing about the UK media is that they don't hide or pretend that they aren't racist because my family, they know they are racist. You know? And it's shameful what my family UK media are doing. It is very, very shameful. What my family they are doing, really. You know? Harry and Meghan have never ever said that they wanted privacy. Never ever said that. My family, here's what happened. You know, because I must explain this stuff. When Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, you came in and claimed that doing it because they want privacy. Harry and Meghan was stepping back as senior members of the royal family to protect their sanity, their peace of mind, their mental health because of the hate campaign waged against Harry and especially against Meghan by the Wikimedia. Wikimedia don't want the narrative to be that Meghan step back as a senior member of the royal family because of racism, because of the abuse she experienced at the hands of the Wikimedia. They don't want the narrative to my family set in. And that's why they continue to say Harry and Meghan left because they want the privacy. Are you telling me that after all the abuse that I saw with my own two eyes, Meghan being put through, experiencing at the hands of the media, Piers Morgan every morning on Good Morning Britain, bully Meghan, telling her to go back to America. Are you telling me that that did not make Megan leave the UK? My family, that's what you give me that implying. That by the abuse, the insults, the racism that they put Megan through. No way! Is that the reason why Megan and Harry stepped back as senior members of the royal family? No! Harry and Megan stepped back as senior members of the royal family according to the media because they want the privacy. And that is a lie. That is a lie. Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family to protect their peace and their mental health and they fled the UK my family in fear of what UK media were doing to them. In fear for their lives, for their sanity. My family. That's why Harry and Meghan fled the UK. Not because they wanted privacy. It's a lie. It's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie that UK media keep on my family, you know, trying to stick it to the minds of people. To absolve themselves as the main reasons as to why Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's the fault of the UK media and William and Charles that and Kira Camilla that Harry and Meghan had no choice but to step back as senior members of the royal family. Because Megan was being bullied every day by the Wiki media. My family. You know? Megan, every day in the UK, was being bullied. Even despite the fact that she doesn't live in the UK even anymore. She's still bullied. By the Wiki media. Even though 
she, Megan, has been living in the U.S. for more than four years now. She's still bullied by the UK media. My family, I won't allow UK media to keep up with this narrative that Harry Megan left because they want the privacy. Show me the proof. Show me the evidence that Harry Megan wants the privacy. I can show you a ton of evidence of UK media being racist towards Megan, being racist towards Archie. I can show you a ton of proof. Even when you look at the Harry and Megan documentary, if you read Spare, Harry will give you examples of the racism that Megan experienced. But you won't ever see UK media discussing that on TV. You won't ever see UK media having a segment discussing all the racist articles they wrote about Megan. You won't ever see that. You won't ever see that. They prefer to lie that Megan and Harry left because they want the privacy in my family. It's a lie. 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 UK media and the firm William Charles K. Camilla are responsible for Harry and Megan fleeing the UK. They're responsible. And that's a fact. You know? That's a fact, my family. It's a fact. Let nobody ever tell you otherwise. Let nobody ever give you a different story. You know? I mean, look at what they're doing even right now. Like, for example, Megan, you know, apparently the only time that she says in the UK is my family at Heathrow Airport when she's catching a different flight to another country. That's the only time that Megan says in the UK. UK media have claimed that Megan doesn't want to come to the UK because she fears being booed. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's another lie from the UK media. I mean, every time we see Charles, William, being booed every time. Camilla came with them being booed every time. We see that happening so many times, so oftenly, her family. So, so oftenly. But UK media are claiming that Megan doesn't want to come over because she fears being booed. Not because of the many articles UK media write saying that Megan should not come over to the UK. Not because of my family, UK media's constant bullying towards Megan. Of course, that can't make Megan not come to the UK, of course. According to the UK media, my family. When clearly, the reason why Megan can't come over to the UK is because it's unsafe. Because of the actions of the UK media. They're bullying. They're abuse of Megan, my family. Even Harry said, my family, that what he's against is UK media radicalizing people into wanting to potentially cause harm to his family, to Megan Archie Petana, which is what UK media have been doing for years now. When someone tells you, oh, Megan, you know, fears coming to the UK because she fears being bullied, tell them, what about the other members of the family who are bullied every single time? William, Charles, K. Camilla, they're always bullied. Always bullied, constantly. You know? If they are bullied every single time, why would Megan not want to come to the UK? You know? For fear of being bullied. First of all, she's never been booed. And also, tell them this. How come you are saying that Megan fears, you know, being booed when clearly all you can really have done all these years is spend their time inciting hatred against Megan? Kelly Megan does not want to come to the UK because it's unsafe. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. Nigeria is safe because you, the media doesn't spend morning TV shows, afternoon TV shows and family. Evening TV shows bullying one woman. In Nigeria, that doesn't happen. That happens only in the UK. So UK is unsafe for Megan to come over. UK is one of the most dangerous countries for anyone to live in my family because of the hateful rhetoric of the UK media. In fact, my family, a poll done so so recently revealed that my family UK is the second most miserable 
country in the world. Why is that? My family, I'll attribute that to the rhetoric. They're so full of hate by the Yukimini. My family. So it's, it's despicable, really, for UK media to pay, 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 pay people to say that Nigeria is unsafe. When clearly, Harry and Meghan feel safe to go to Nigeria. But they, but Meghan, Archie, Lilibet don't feel it's safe to go to the UK. Because it is unsafe, my family, because of the actions of the UK media. Because of the actions of the UK media. It's unsafe for Meghan to go to my family, you know, the UK. It's unsafe for Archie, Lilibet to go to the UK, my family, because of the actions of the UK media. You know? My family. I mean, can you please hear this bitterness? Can you please hear this, my family bitterness? That it would have been much safer and easier if wounded soldiers in Nigeria were flown to London instead of having all security and a vast expense to a country where many are living on less than 1.5 pounds a day. You have to ask yourself, is it really all about the charities or is it the Harry Megan show? says Di Davis, speaking to the Daily Mail, my family. Let me kindly answer that, my family, please. Let me kindly answer that, my family. Thing is, I'm a fan of a show called Game of Thrones. For example, let me just use an example. I'm a fan of a show called Game of Thrones. My family, I'm a fan. And in that show, I can choose to reward that show, yes or no. I can say today is a Monday, you know what? I'm bored. I can feel like I want to watch Game of Thrones because it's going to cheer me up. You know, I can say I'm going to choose to watch this show. The thing about a show is that you can choose to tune in or you can choose a different show. Right? My friend, right? You can choose a different show. If you don't want to watch this show, Game of Thrones, you can watch a different one. You know? You can watch Telepiris the, the Oval. You can watch Telepiris Sisters. You can choose a different show. The options, my family, are unlimited. There are so many, so many shows in this world. You can watch even Keeping Up with the Kardashians if you want. My family, the thing about a show, the point that I am trying to make here is that the thing about a show is that you can choose to watch or you can choose not to watch. But the behavior of the community is that my family, they obsess over Harry and Meghan, and then they blame Harry and Meghan because they can't stop watching them. They can't stop obsessing over them. They blame Harry and Meghan for their obsession with Harry and Meghan. My family. It's madness. It's just, it's madness. My family. You know? For example, Lady Mill, when Harry and Meghan were in Miami, they, Harry was playing polo to raise money for Santa Barbara Charity. And also, this is a good example, it's a good example of my family. Now, nobody knew the day the polo game was being played, that those details were being kept a uh, closely guarded secret my family. Nobody knew when the polo game was being played in my family until the last moment, actually. You know? And then Daily Mail found out that Harry, Harry would play polo, raise money for the Bali charity. They found out at the last moment in my family. And then they ra ran over to the polo club that Harry was playing to try and gain access to the venue where Harry and Meghan were to cover them. Remember, they are uninvited. Remember, they are unwelcome. And they were told by a staff member, hold it right there. Harry has said that only media outlets that have been personally approved by Harry are allowed in this venue, are allowed to cover this event. And Daily Mail said what they had been told by a staff member as Harry's message. Did that stop Daily Mail from covering the event? No. They hid behind bushes to try and catch a glimpse of Harry Megan. Are you going to blame Harry Megan for the obsession that Daily Mail has on Harry Megan? You cannot do that. 
You cannot do that. But time and time again, that's the habit of the Wikimedia. Blaming Harry Meghan for the obsession that Daily Mail has on Harry Meghan. It's madness. It's madness. Stop blaming Harry Meghan for the obsession that you have on them. Di Davis, you've seen the amazing security that Harry Meghan are receiving in Nigeria. And you're complaining about it. Di Davis, you can choose not watch you can choose not to watch it you know you can choose not to watch harry megan being welcomed you know in nigeria you can choose to focus on your william focus on your kim Milton. oh wait she's missing focus on camilla focus on charles you can choose to focus on them but you're not choosing to focus on them you are choosing to focus on harry megan and then you're blaming Harry Meghan, for the obsession you have on them. The family, it, it, it's sickness. It's sickness. It's sickness. If you don't want to tune into the Harry Meghan show, don't tune in. Don't tune in. Go follow William. Go follow Missing King Moulton. Go follow Camilla. Go follow Charles. Let those who care about Harry Meghan focus on them. We care about them. Let us focus on them. Let us pay attention to them, to them, my family. If you can mean you don't want to, then by all means, it'll be good if they don't focus on Harry Meghan. Let them focus on the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK. Otherwise, Dai Davis, UK media, stop complaining, stop whinging, stop mourning that Harry Meghan are being afforded presidential security. Harry Meghan deserve it because they need protection from the likes of you. You know, people who, you know, can't accept rejection. People who are so full of hate. How do I make a need protection from you lot? You know, and thank you to Nigeria. An amazing, safe country to live in. For providing Harry Megan with amazing security when they're in Nigeria. Thank you so much for rolling out the red carpet for Harry Megan. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much for rolling out the red carpet for Harry Megan. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Abundantly. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much. You know, for showing Harry Megan respect and so much love. Thank you so much, the family. So members of the squad have responded to Dai Davis, my family racism. And my family, here's what my family they have uh, said. And I quote. When royalists get salty, they let their racist flag fly high. Indeed, very true. Indeed, very true. When royalists get salty, they, my family, showcase the race. That's what they do. You know? And why do Prince Harry fly wounded Nigerian soldiers to, to my family London? Why would Prince Harry fly wounded Nigerian soldiers to London when Britain is not just inhospitable, inhospitable. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.